Danny, image rights, players' image rights, and of course, image rights are very lucrative if you're a top player like Kylian Mbappe. Um, the French Football Federation has said it will review the issue of players' image rights after Mbappe refused to take part in a photo shoot with the French national team. Mbappe led a boycott amongst the French team of certain sponsors back in March because he didn't want to be associated with particular brands. Now, the Federation itself has ties with KFC, Uber Eats, Coca-Cola, reportedly uh, something of a moral concern for Mbappe. Should players have a choice to dictate where and who their image is aligned to? To a degree. I, d- I think that's a step too far for I mean, me. He's embarrassed this, the Federation here somewhat, is well, it not? Well, I, I think it's just, it's just a little bit... Sp- What's the word? Self entitlement. Um, Self entitled. It's uh, it's a bit egotistical. I mean, look, you pick to play for your country. Mm. It's a team picture, preparing for whatever tournaments coming up together, the lads, and you decide because you're a superstar. Basically, is that not... how you're reading it? Because he's just decided. Well, no, he's been advised. I don't think he's come to this conclusion on his own. I don't think he's been studying the brands and what you know and, and thinking. Well, this is going to be used by sponsors A, B, and C. Therefore, it's going to damage my reputation. I think if you're playing for your country and you're proud to do so, having a team picture is the l- minimum thing you can do as part of your duty. I mean, come on. Well, apparently, he's opting out. Of the photo shoot yeah, I know. because well, it remains uncomfortable with promoting certain sponsors, including betting companies, fast food brands. But is that more important than being together with the players for your national team and the country, showing a togetherness and doing the right thing and being part of a team? Is it more? Is it, is it more important that your picture might be associated with a betting brand? It doesn't mean you have to bet, does it? It's part. That's the internet. That's that's a knock-on effect to playing for your country. Mm. You know, I don't. If you don't like sugary drinks, and you're against them for whatever well, reason, Ronaldo did that, didn't he? With Coke you know, or Pepsi or whatever it was. I just think it, it's. Come on, get over yourself. Get I'm kind of with Danny on this one. Where do you stand on brand Mbappe? I love Mbappe, but come um, on. domestically, it will form part of your contract. So we've moved. We've moved to a stage now where footballers, whether you agree it or not, have huge commercial value outside of just kicking a football. Sometimes it's perplexing to think why, but it is. Right? They are perceived to be influencers. And the commercial uh, contracts you put them under will have carve-outs for image rights. So they want to carve the image rights out and they want to utilise them in other spaces and they want to make sure that they're not compromised by having a relationship with one brand and not another. Then that gets done at domestic level when you're, when you're under your employment contract, under the nature of the relationship you have with the club that you've got a mm. contract with. Then you, when you move into the International Federation, and I go back a second from this, I wonder how many of these footballers actually realise that the commercial endorsements that are around football are the reasons why they're in the position that they're in. And ultimately, the broadcasters that are paying these monies that are, that are also underpinning yeah. the reasons for paying these monies, not just from subscription fees, but from vast amounts of advertising revenue, are the sole reason why they're not earning two and six anymore and they're earning £500,000 a week. And you move into the, into, the, into the international framework and you look at the argument about what some of this revenue gets generated f- and what it gets done with. It goes back to grassroots football. It goes back to the development of centres of excellence. It goes back to the uh, underpinning of Fontainebleau, which is the space and place yeah. where they develop to the young players. Yeah. So I, I do think that this is a case of um, the lunatics running the asylum and a player having so much influence and power and being afforded that, that he seems to believe that he is now bigger Mm. than the country that he plays for. If those that run French football have deemed that the commercial benefits of a variety of different sponsors um, enhance the opportunity for French football, because it's a French football federation proposition, because that money is rooted back into French football for whatever particular purpose, and a lot Mm. of it is grassroots development, who in God's name is Mbappe to dictate who well, does what, when, what? And he it, is, it, it, it beggars belief, really. Actually, Simon, funnily enough, as you say that, a report is now running in France that the vice president of KFC has said, we're not having this. And the fast food chain is, is now poised to take action against Mbappe over his refusal to participate in some of the sponsorship commitments, including that photo shoot. So there... They're pushing back Mbappe saying... Well, he doesn't have to be... He doesn't have to sit accept. in that seat and get your photograph well, taken. Well, the challenge is, is that he doesn't have to be picked for his country and he doesn't have to accept the call-up. 
So if he wants to now push back against the French Federation and say, OK, fine, if KFC are your masters and they can dictate to me, then I don't want to play for France. And that's the flip side of that argument. And we'll only, see... Do you know, there's only one loser in all of that. Well, well if he's the, not playing the, for the player country, in the see. long run. But it depends what his view that. is. He won't do that. Well, it depends how strong people think they have to be well, with players to put to them be, back in their place. You, you mentioned the word lunatics running in the asylum. You would have to have some serious problems in your brain to, to stop yourself playing in the biggest tournament in the world and, and creating legacies because you're against certain things. This situation, I would suspect that some of the compromises are not based upon values. They're based upon commercial compromises that he may have with other with other endorsers that perhaps which makes compromise worse, his outlook, no? which makes it worse. What, what would you have done, Simon, at Palace if a player said, I'm not going to take part in that photo shoot because I, I, I don't support the brands? That the club is backing. Well, I can't really imagine that situation manifesting itself. And in the event that it did... Um, I bet I, the French Federation couldn't imagine this coming along. Well, then they have to be stronger with the player. They have to be stronger with the consequences of the player's actions because you cannot... As good as a player is, you cannot allow the, you know, uh, someone to be more powerful than the underlying... Um, uh, value set, which is the French national side. If the French, if the French Federation have done these deals with these variety, and people, of course, what you're going to latch upon, what people are going to say, all these people coming in from, you know, child, child obesity, which has nothing to do with parenting, by the way. Of course, it does. Um, all these people saying, well, look at these fast food brands like KFC and Uber Eats and Coca Cola. They're actually the very thing that we don't want, like they did to McDonald's sponsorship. They forget on the other side of the argument that McDonald's poured millions, millions. and millions yeah. and millions and millions of pounds into yeah. into grassroots football, and the reasons why we have childhood obesity is because parents don't parent properly Correct. with the exception of underlying medical conditions underlying medical conditions anything else for childhood obesity is an excuse Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport